Okay, so uh, it's Saturday. That means it's time for Lucy and I to go on a walk. Uh, I'm trying my shotgun mic today and uh, that I use for movies. So uh, let's see what happens. I think we're going to go to Prospect Park. So it should be fun. All right, we're on the road again. First stop, of course, is Duncan. Need my iced latte. And uh, we're giving Panasonic another chance today with the autofocus. Uh, there's cars coming. I guess I better stop. All right, we're taking a little uh, bench break here because I'm just tired of walking. And I also have to say, I'm gonna stop running on that Duncan. Three weeks in a row, no latte. Espresso machine broken, devastating. Just walking around, seeing what I find. Water's great. So I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where the hell I am. I've just kind of been walking around, exploring, and uh, this park is pretty cool. I have kind of maybe an idea of where I am now that I've crossed these epic steps. I'm not a poker player, but uh, anybody who knows me knows I do appreciate a good pun. This is a wonderful wooded path that I have found. Turns out I finally looked at Google Maps because my sense of direction is, well, the less said the better. Uh, this whole place is Prospect Park, so, you know, I did make it where I wanted to go. Lucy seems to be having a good time. She's barely meowed. I seem to have stumbled upon a random merry-go-round in the middle of the woods. New York is, uh, it's quite a place. All right, it's the third time I've recorded this take uh, because it turns out framing on a 50 when you're by yourself is kind of hard sometimes. We're trusting Panasonic's autofocus. Well exposed though, so it should be okay. The big update is we had a rocky adventure and uh, we made it across the park and now my hot date Wendy is across the street. Though, uh, honestly, not sure if I'm feeling it today. Uh, we'll see. I'll keep you posted though. Well, I decided to keep walking down Flatbush before my hot date with Wendy. And uh, I can report that it is more of Brooklyn. So uh, that's it, folks. I've seen everything there is to see in New York. And I'm done. I've seen all of it. Okay, take three because last time autofocus thought the glass should be the subject area. I digress. Lucy and I decided to be good and not have a hot date with Wendy. We stopped at a local place called the Sunshine Co. where I'm gonna try the veggie burger with cheddar cheese. Uh, I'll let you know how it is. I also brought treats this time so Lucy can eat with me. Keep you posted. That was delicious. Uh, they had paper straws, so, you know, saving the planet one straw at a time. And uh, I very much enjoyed it. Lucy enjoyed her treats. I'm very tired. I'm kind of done walking, but I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I ordered some Pete's coffee, one pound bag. Came, I was very excited, and I realized that I ordered beans. Friggin' beans, it's not even ground. So I'm gonna make one last stop. I'm going to Target. I'm gonna see if I can find a grinder. <sighs> if 
finally on the final leg of our journey. I would like to just take a moment to talk about some... Yeah! Guess somebody needs to subscribe. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the philosophy of saving money. When your credit card says 12% cash back at Pete's. And you're like, cool, I, uh, I drink coffee. I might as well buy it from Pete's online and get the 12% cash back. That's basically free money, right? Until you accidentally just buy beans and then you gotta spend 50 freaking dollars on a grinder. I have not saved money on this day, but perhaps like solar panels, this will be a long-term investment in which I eventually, potentially, maybe save a little bit of money. Well, that was not as loud as I expected, but still loud enough to uh, give the kitty cat a fright. Uh, shockingly fast and easy. My first time ever grinding coffee. I do use a French press. And so for those of you who, uh, you know, think I'm a doofus, a dingus for uh, using pre-ground rounds, you know, in my French press, you can go fly a kite. But let's see how this is, if it makes any difference. It is a five o'clock coffee, but I'm excited to try this new investment that I have been forced to make. Alright, I have to say, regrettably, this is not the first sip. I'm a few sips in because my battery died literally as I was taking the first sip. So we're a little more charged up and down the hatch. There is a difference, but to be fair, I've never had this blend and uh, I can't say if that's the reason that there's a difference between finely ground and coarsely ground in my French press. But there you go. And now, we shall end this video blog. Yes, indeed.